Happy Pride Month! With all the genres and demographs out there, there's no better time than now to share some recommendations. Whether you're celebrating big or small, it's always nice to be able to sit down, relax, and enjoy a good story. All of these recommendations are series you can pick up either digitally or physically in English. Always support the hardworking creators. Now, let's talk about some LGBT manga recommendations for you to enjoy this year. Fake by Tsunami Mato Don't let the 90s publication date fool you. Fake may be an older BL story, but it's not one to miss. The story is about two New York police officers who encompass the whole we're not married, but are married with kids trope. And you'll love to see it. The main characters are Dee and Ryo. Dee is a confident, outspoken man who always lets you know his opinion and that he's bisexual. His partner Ryo, in contrast, is the opposite, a more laid-back and soft-spoken man. One of the things I really liked about this series is how both Dee and Ryo cared deeply about the people around them in their own ways. This series was ahead of its time, covering serious topics but handling them with care. You can tell the author was passionate about this series and her characters. By no means is this series a serious story only. The comedy interwoven throughout this series had me laughing several times while reading. That is a balance I'm always searching for when reading a series, and it takes a gifted author to pull off. The only downside about this series is that it's currently out of print, and the only way you can easily find a copy is by reading digitally. However, I still recommend giving this series a try, or pick up some of the volumes secondhand. If you like a healthy dose of humor amidst your romance and drama, this is a series for you. Boys Run the Riot by Kaito Gaku I've seen this series recommended more lately, and you really love to see it. Boys Run the Riot is a story of a transgender boy named Ryo who is experiencing body dysphoria. He goes to school wearing gym clothes just to avoid the feminine clothes he's supposed to be wearing. One day while shopping for clothes, he runs into a fellow student named Jin, who likes the same clothes he does. Together, they decide to start a clothing brand. I don't want to spoil too much of this series, but it really is an amazing journey to follow Ryu and his friends. One of the things I enjoy most about this series are moments between Ryu and his friend Jin. Coming out to anyone, whether it be with your true gender identity or sexuality, can be a terrifying ordeal. But if you finally take that step and open up to the people closest to you, just like Ryo, you can find a positive outcome and people who will support you. I think this powerful message is shown in this series. Even if not everyone understands, the people who truly love you will love you no matter what. Not only is this story's protagonist transgender, but the author is also a transgender man. This is a completed series of four volumes and it is published in English by Kodansha. I highly recommend reading this series, not only to experience the big changes in Ryo's life, but to also read the short story at the end of the mangaka's own life. I think it's always important to read diverse stories. She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat by Sakomo Yukazi While this is a fairly newer series, this isn't one you should push to the back of the fridge. How many food puns will I use in this review? Time to find out. The story is about a woman named Namoto who loves to cook. Despite having no one to share her culinary gifts with, she dreams of cooking large portions of food. One day, she gets a chance to share her skills with her neighbor Kazuga, and the two strike up an unlikely friendship. For those who enjoy seeing character development and the natural progression of a relationship, I can't recommend this series enough. Rising quickly to the top of my favorite GL series, this story not only pulled me in with its unique character design and delicious food, but She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat shows its audience just how strangled one can feel trying to fit in with society's expectations and how happy we can become when you find someone who both enjoys and appreciates the hobby you are passionate about. It's pure wholesome deliciousness. I recently made a video about this series, and if you think you might have an appetite for this kind of story, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This series is published in English by Yen Press, and currently there are two volumes released. I cannot wait to read more, and I hope if you haven't given this series a try, you sit down and take a bite. Golden Kamoi by... Oh wait, wrong list. Dekaboko Sugar Days by Atsuko Yuzen. Close friends since childhood, 
Ichiro and Rui couldn't be more different. Rui is a happy, gentle boy who hits a growth spurt which makes him over six feet tall. His friend Yujiro is athletic and never skips his daily dose of milk hoping he'll hit his own growth spurt. They've been close since Rui was saved by Yujiro as a child, when Rui fell in a gutter. However, now in high school things have changed as they both discover they have a crush on one another. This story is as sweet as its title. Not only is the cuter art style a joy to look at, but each character is endearing and adorable. This is a one volume series which has a sequel called Dekaboko Bittersweet Days that I recommend as well if you enjoyed the first. I actually enjoyed it as much if not more than the first volume. This series is marked mature, so please do not read if you're underage. This series is currently published in English by Tokyopop. Cherry Magic 30 Years of Virginity Can Make You a Wizard? by Yu Toyota. Before you skip this series based on its title alone, let me tell you, it's really not what you think. Okay, maybe wizardish elements is still around, but this series is actually quite wholesome. The story is about a man named Adachi, who after turning 30 and being a virgin, discovers he is able to read the minds of the people around him. Proving these powers are not as cool as we all think they would be, Adachi ends up having to endure an extra dose of negativity from those intrusive thoughts. One day, however, he comes in contact with his handsome co-worker named Kurosawa, and discovers that Kurosawa has a crush on him. The story and art style blend perfectly throughout the series, telling the audience the story of a man who is trying to better himself, and one who respects him enough to wait for him to be comfortable. While I enjoy seeing the main characters, I love reading about Adachi's friend Suge in the bonus chapters. I recommend giving this BL rom-com series a try if you're looking for a mostly realistic story, respectful relationships, and watching two men be absolutely adorable with each other. There are currently six volumes released in English. This series is published by Square Enix Manga and is labeled Parental Advisory, so please only read if you're of age. If you haven't read any of these series yet, I hope you decide to give them a try. There are countless more. And if you have your own LGBT manga recommendations, drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. I'm Zath. Have a good day.